the year 2000. The movie, I'm Fucking Psycho. A handsome, chiseled Christian Bale appears on your screen and you think, this will be fine, this will be nice. No, it won't. Gruesome movie, crazy movie, lots of memorable scenes like this. I killed Paul Allen with an axe in the face like this. Or like this. But we all remember that business card, the famous Patrick Bateman business card. Today I'm gonna to show you how to build it out in Webflow. Just a little 3D card hover with a nice little sheen. Patrick Bateman, Vice President of Pierce and Pierce. I'm gonna show you how to add this little hover effect over here, add some 3D perspective, and add a little gore when you click contact. Stick around if you wanna see how I did it. Here's our finished product here. Nice, beautiful hover card. It's just our business card. It built it all out, all the text, gave it a little dimension, a background, a little hover sheen too, to give it some 3D life here. And then when you click contact, there's a little trigger that happens. It just shows another div behind it. It's a GIF and it's a nice blooding and gory because when we contact Patrick Bateman, we should expect some blood and gore. So we can avoid that. But let's jump in and see how we did this. So we got our body. First thing I want to do, I'm going to add a div. I'm going to make this our main container here. So this will be card container. I'm going to name this as our class. I'm going to make it take up 100 VH, 100% of the viewport height here. I'm going to go to our body. I'm going to give it a nice background. I already uploaded an image, so when I just close, choose image, I'm going to pick this nice New York City background as we know the movie takes place there. And with this image, I'm just going to click cover and I'm going to center it so that way it's perfectly in our screen here. Uh, make sure we're on our body. I'm gonna add another little background, just gonna be an overlay. And by default, it kind of gives me that nice sheen gray so then we can see any content we put over it, which helps. Next thing we're gonna do, gonna go to our card container. We're going to add another div element. And this will be our card itself. So, business card. And I'm gonna set some dimensions on this so we can work with it. I'm gonna make the width uh, 525 pixels. And I'll make the height 300 pixels. Get a nice, pretty generic business card shape there. I'm gonna go to its parent container, which is the card container. I'm gonna make this flex. And I'm gonna make this vertical because later we're going to have a button beneath it. So I wanna make sure they stack on top of each other, not side by side. So vertical's good. There's our business card. Next thing we can do, give the business card itself a little background. So I uploaded a little nice white gradient background just to make it look like it's a business card, gives us some texture. I'm also gonna give the little box shadow to this just to add even more life and dimension. So let's see here at the bottom, just clicked box shadow and you can adjust these settings here. I'm gonna make the distance one, I'm gonna make the blur six just so it's a little more blurred. There we go. Yeah, it looks like it's popping off the page a little bit. Inside our business card, I'm going to add a heading. This will be Patrick Bateman's name. I'm gonna make this an H1 since it is the most important thing. So I'm just gonna write Patrick Bateman. And to make sure all this stays centered, I'm going to make the business card itself flex, horizontal, like that. Actually, this will be vertical as well because I'm gonna have uh, the title right underneath it. So we've got that and I'm gonna add another one. I'll make this an H2. And this will say vice president. I can get rid of all these preset dimensions here because I want to customize this myself, give it some more breathing room and space how I want it. So I'll just set all these margins to zero along the text. There we go, that floats in the middle there. And now I'm not going to walk through each of the details on how I did the, uh, the text here. Basically, if you look at this, the Patrick Bateman Vice President, which we just did, is flex centered in the business card itself. And then all the rest of the text, you'll see the Pierce and Pierce up here, the phone number, those are just absolutely positioned elements. So I'll create the text and then position them absolutely. And I'll make the uh, parent container, which is the card, relative. So that way, when I set their position, they'll stay within the card itself. And I just put this one on the top right, this one's on the top left, and this one on the bottom. So that way, the only thing that's being affected by the flex, because it's in the flow of the business card document, is the middle, Patrick Bateman. And then to position these outside the document flow, they're positioned absolutely where I want them to be. So for example, if I add another thing within our business card, I'm gonna make this 
uh, an H3, let's say. And this can say Pierce and Pierce. I'm gonna to go to our business card. I'm gonna make sure that its position is relative. Now that the parent is positioned relatively, I can go over to the Pierce and Pierce heading. I can make sure it's positioned absolutely. And now I can change where I want it positioned. And all of these will work, but it'll stay within relation to the relative parent, which is the business card. So I'm gonna put this on the top right, because that's where that lives, right? We got Pierce and Pierce. And then there's another little uh, piece of text beneath it. So to make sure I can keep those together and positioned in the same spot, let me just clean these up and give it some uh, titles here, classes. Uh, so I'm gonna be in the business card. I'm gonna add another little div here really quick. I'm just gonna call this company div. And when I put Pierce inside here, there we go. I can add another little piece of text. This can be an H4 one below the Pierce and Pierce. This way we can position the div itself absolutely. These can actually be just static to its uh, container there. And then when I move the div to the top right, there we go. And then I can make these just text align centered. I can get rid of all of that padding and margin, right? Go back to this, remove this. This will say, Mergers and Acquisitions. Very vague title there for Patrick. We never know what he actually does, except we do know what he does in his spare time. <laughs> there we go. This will also be text-centered. And then when you wanna just move it a little bit more, you can just go to the company div and you can add a little bit of margin, like 10 on the right, 10 on the top. And really you can position this anywhere you want, but basically that's just the basis of how I positioned all of the different pieces of text on the left, right, and bottom, and all that on the business card itself. But this is gonna focus more on the 3D animation than that. So I'm just gonna skip ahead and put in all the text and everything, and then we'll jump into the fun part. All right, so I'm back in here, and now you'll see the finished business card. So yeah, I had that top right, that was the positioned absolutely, this little section. I've got the phone number over here, and then the bottom address. And you'll see just for some text formatting things, I made this one all capitalized, and you can make sections or just individual letters of your text a span element. And to do that, you can just highlight something. Like if I just highlighted the letter E, I can click this little brush, wrap with a span, and then you can basically create its own class for that one little letter or section. So to give the kind of capitalization effect and add the uh, spacing as I wanted, I just made some spans in there. So that's how you'll see these kind of big letters throughout. And I just Googled the picture from the movie and tried to copy it as best as I could. I think it came out pretty good. Now the fun part for our hover effect here. So we want to give this card a little bit of a rotation, right? We want it to be able to move in the 3D space. And remember, when we need to affect an element and make it rotate and keep its dimensions and look 3D, we need to target its parent and set some uh, child perspective on that. So our business card is what's going to be moving. So we go to our card container, which is the parent, and we're just going to make sure we have some 3D transformations. And I'm going to set a child perspective of a thousand just to add some room. Great. So now when we go to the business card, we can start editing the effects. So business card, I'm gonna add a element trigger. I'm gonna have, while scrolling, or mouse over element, this one. I'm gonna add a new animation. And this will be called card hover. That's good. So for our X rotation, so when we look on the top left of our card, that's basically the 0% of X. And then when we go all the way to the right, that would be 100% of X. So along this span is what we're talking about when we're talking about the mouse over. So what we'll do here, on 0%, I'm gonna make our business card, make sure we're already selected on our business card here. I'm gonna rotate this, just negative five degrees on the Y axis. And you'll see that it already slants that way and it's looking that way because we have the perspective set on the parent, so it's maintaining its space. And then 100%, I'm gonna make it five degrees in the positive direction. So now it tilts the other way. So then for the Y, you kind of assume it does the opposite of what we just did, because up and down is the same effect from top left is 0% uh, of Y, and when we go down to the bottom left, that would be 100% of the Y axis. So at 0% on the Y, we're going to do the rotate, but we're gonna do five degrees on the X axis. You'll see how it tilts up. And then when we get to the bottom, this will be negative five degrees there. There we go. So when we click live preview, when we mouse over, you see we get this nice kind of hover effect as if our mouse is uh, interacting with the card. Next thing we're gonna do is add this little sheen. So you'll see here there's kind of a, a slight glossiness to this, makes it even pop a little more. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. When we go back in here, we're gonna add another div element. 
So we're going to be in our business card. I will add another div. I'm going to go oh, we'll save our interaction there. I'm going to go back to styling. I'm going to make this div. I'm going to call this card highlight. All right, so we've got our card highlight here. We're going to give it some dimensions. We're going to set the width to 400 and we'll make the height 400 as well. Because this is going to be a circle at the end of the day, and when you want to make a circle, you've got to make sure that the height and the width are equal, just so you get that perfect circle. If you don't need a perfect circle, then you can make them whatever you want. You get an ellipse or some kind of oval, but for our sake, I kind of want a perfect circle. So we've got width 400, height 400. I'm going to make the position absolute. I'm going to make sure it's pushed to the top left there. So remember, our business card is what's the parent, and that's positioned relatively. So when we absolutely position this to the top left, this will maintain the boundary there. And that's so we can control its moving when the card moves as well. I'm going to go down here. It has a white background. That's good. Radius, I'm going to make 50% because that'll give us a circle. There you go. You see it curves nicely there. And then opacity, I'm just going to lower this down to maybe 30. There we go. Something a little more faded and subtle because it's just going to be a sheen. It's not going to be, you don't want a, a white spot circles flying around on your card. And then filters, we're just going to add a little effect, blur. We can make this 30 pixels. And you'll see it's still there, but it's not as obvious. It'll be more apparent once we add the effect itself. So that's our card highlight. It's just a little div circle on top of the card. But when we go back to our interactions here, we can make it appear like it's more than that. So go back to our mouse over element. We're going to go to our card hover interaction that we created. So on the 0% of our X, remember we already have the business card rotating itself. But if we add another thing to happen here, uh, make sure we're selected on our card highlight first. Click plus, and I'm gonna add a move. So at 0%, I'm gonna make this be 100% on the x-axis, 100%. I'm gonna make it move about negative mm, 50%. So that way, it kind of spans 50% of it away. And then the, the Y, the up and down part of things, card highlight, I'm gonna have, it's gonna move up. Oh, you'll see I did 100 pixels. I meant to do 100%. Yeah, these are both percentages, great. And then down here for the Y, this is also gonna be a move. It's gonna be on the Y axis this time. We're gonna do it 50% of the Y to start. And then when it reaches 100%, which is the bottom, I'm gonna move this, negative 50%. So when I turn live preview on, you'll see the box here, that's our card highlight. It's kind of pushing to the opposite side of wherever our mouse is. And that makes sense, right? Because if the the mouse equals where we're kind of pressing, if it was like a live finger, um, the card highlight would be angled and reflecting from the other side. So it makes sense that it would be on the opposite of wherever the cursor is moving. But you can see we can't really see it that well. So let me see. I think I'm change some z-index things here and make sure it's appearing above the other elements so we can actually see it. There we go. Now you see it's on top of the other elements. You might even be able to lower it a little bit more. It is a little bright, but I kind of like it because then it's kind of a clear indication of this is our effect. This is what we did. It's got that nice clean sheen, nice white color. Looks like a normal business card for any sort of everyday businessman, right? This is Patrick Bateman. Things are about to get a little bloody, so let's add the blood now. Back here, we're going to add a button. So we're going to make sure we're in our card container. We're going to add a new button element. This is easy. And I'm just going to name it contact button. I already have a class created here that'll absorb some styling just to save some time. So now let's go to our business card here. So in our business card, I'm going to add another div. This will be called blood div. So this is going to hold the, uh, the blood gif. So you'll see here when you click contact, we see that blood and it's contained in there. So this is just a div that's nestled inside of the business card. So if we make this give it some dimension, just make it 100% width and 100% height. But I also position it absolutely. That way it's not gonna live in the document flow so it won't push other elements away when it expands. This will just take up the space it needs, but behind everything else or above it if you wanna change the z-index. And I'm gonna give this a background image of blood. There we go. Now you'll see the name comes through because that has a higher index but the other content's fading away, which means we just got to affect all the other elements. So let's see here. There we go. So I basically just made all the Z indexes, make sure they're at least higher than the blood GIF itself. But we obviously don't want that to appear right away. So I'm just going to turn the display to hidden right here. Here we go. Now it looks like just as we had styled it before. Now when we go to our contact button, I can just add a little mouse click. So on click, we want something to happen. Let's start an animation. I'm going to call it blood div in. I'm going to make sure we are 
on our blood diff. And I'm gonna make a hide show. So the initial state will just be zero. And then by the end of the click, I'm gonna display it block. There you go. And then on second click, we just want it to disappear just so the user can kind of have some fun and make it interactive, right? So I'll start an interaction again. This will just be blood div out. And all we have to do here, make sure we're back on our blood div and do hide show and make it display none. There we go. Save that when we preview it. We've got our little glossy sheen. We've got the card hover nicely and it rotates. And then when we click contact, bow, 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 bow. there we go. We got that blood. When we uncontact, because we don't want to deal with that man, we can go back to the normalness. Quick little video. This is a fun movie. The book is even gorier and very hard to read if you've ever read it. It's crazy, but the movie's fun. So this is just a fun little project, a little 3D card rotation, and uh, I hope you learned something. You can apply this to different elements in your website. If you've got a company logos and cards, you can add this little sheen effect, which gives it some more professional quality and life. So try to use it where you can. Uh, it's been a nice trick to learn, so I hope you enjoyed it. And don't get murdered. Watch out for the Patrick Batemans of the world. I'll see you in the next video.